Hello my Bass Ninja family. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. I bought some night crawlers. I also have obviously a lure that I'll be using as well, but we're gonna try to catch some bass, some bluegill, some catfish, whatever we can catch, because I'm trying to stock my pond. Anyway, let's see how we go. Um, I'll show you what we're working with. It's very, very shallow here, but there's lots of bass in here. Let's see how we do. Get her done. All right, guys, this is what we're working with. It's very, very shallow here, but I found some catfish holes. I'd like to put another couple catfish in my pond. And there's a bunch of bass and bluegill. So the goal today is catch a few fish. I've got this Guggen, this Guggen uh, aerator lid. Works perfect on a five gallon bucket. I've kept fish in there overnight and it, they've been just fine. So let's see how we do. Matter of fact, there's a bass right there. All right, I'm gonna put a night crawl on see if we can catch us a bass. Peace. All right, here we are guys. I'm gonna get a throw a night crawl out here. I would love to catch not too many bluegill, but a few is okay. I'd love to catch some bass though. Wouldn't mind catching a couple catfish either. So let's let's see what we do here. All right. While we're waiting, got the old super fluke on right. Here. Oh gosh, I already got a pipe. Oh wow, that didn't take long at all. Wow. I have no clue what just happened here either. <laughs> I mean, I just threw it out and it was, I didn't even have a chance. Wow, guys. Jeez. Is that how it's gonna be today? I mean, I'm okay with that. I mean, I am perfectly okay with that. Jeez, I looked down and it's taken off of my pole already. It jacked it all up. The parts of fishing, like you have no clue how stuff happens. Gosh, it was only out there for like a half a second. I'm not sure what even happened. Fishing is so weird. Like things happen to your pole and you're like, uh, that's like mathematically impossible. Like, like how does this happen? All right, let me get off here. I'll get it back when I get fixed. All right, guys, we're going back out here. I don't know what had happened, but. I think I'm just going to hold on to it this time because. It's not where I had it though. I'd love to throw it where I had it. I'd really love to catch some bass. Maybe a couple catfish. I don't really want to catch a ton of bluegill. All right, that's where I had it last time. It only took a second and then... I'm afraid to pick this super fluke up. It only took a second last time. I threw it in between those little weeds over there. I seen some bass swimming by. All right. It looks like we're in a better position. While we're waiting, we'll, we'll use some uh, super fluke. I'm using the uh, apple color. Using the apple color.
Get off. The water's so shallow. But again, the whole purpose of this video is to stock my pond. And I already know, no question, 100% that I'll be able to catch a catfish. Because I, I see where they're bedding. All you got to do is put it in a hole. And you're going to catch them. So I, that's guaranteed. I will have a catfish to go in my pond. And they're pretty decent size too. So I must have got lucky and threw right on him because I threw right back in the same spot. Nothing. So it's real shallow over here, but there's fish. I see fish all over the place. Wait until you guys see this catfish hole. And I'd love to stop, stop my pond with a couple of catfish. If I catch a real big one, then I'll put it in that bucket and I'll just go home and dump it off and come back. love to get a boat back here I'm gonna rethrow this one out I should already had a bite by now like I said this is kind of like spot fishing because really really shallow here I'm gonna try to get right in between oh, well, that, oh I see something right there already I think this is a bluegill got him oh he got off really I caught a stick so this is the uh the Florida stick bass. All right, let's try this again. All right, nothing. Now right, let's see if he comes back. It's going to be kind of hard to fish with a night crawler and do. Because I know once they hit it, they're going to hit it. I want to try to get it a little bit more under those trees.
Well, guys, it, the water is so low in Florida, because, well, in North Florida, um, it hasn't rained in like, <laughs> I think it's been a couple months before it's actually rained. So the water is extremely low. The fish can see us. So the bite has been really different. Um, and again, the whole episode for today is I'm just trying to stock my pond. So I'll take whatever I can get at the moment. All right, while I was changing my bait, caught a really nice size bluegill. That one will go into the bucket. All right, stocking our pond. All right, let me get this in there. All right, guys, on my bait caster, I put in the old Guggen crack and crawl. So we'll see how we do. Oh, I'm getting bite on that. Oh, I don't know how I missed him. Like I said, I do not want to catch a ton of bluegill. I just want to catch a couple. So maybe I'll just put a little this little piece on there and catch one more little bluegill. And then I'll spot fish for bass and cat. That won't take long to catch that one. <laughs> Let me check my camera real quick. All right, guys. I think I was recording in zoom mode. So sorry about that. You guys probably couldn't see nothing. I'm just going to drag this crack and crawl along all this shallow area. Letting it skim across the bottom. It's crazy. There's bass over here. So I left that little tiny night crawler there on there on purpose because, again, I don't want to catch any. I, I only catch one. Want to catch one? Maybe one more bluegill. So if I catch one, I catch one, that little small one. If not, then. So I'll, once I get ready to actually fish using a night crawl, I'll put another one on. <laughs> There's a little, little tiny bass. And I'm getting a bite. Oh crap, it's gonna take my pole in. That little tiny worm. Man, I don't know if you guys seen that or not. Oh, it was a, uh, oh man, I don't know if you guys can see that in the water. It was a, uh, a gar. It was about to take my pole in. All right, I think I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to fish like this for right now. I'll do that when I actually want to fish like that. Oh, my gosh, it was a gar. It was about to take my pole in. I didn't think anything was really going to hit it because it was just a bear, a little piece of worm. Oh, there's a couple bass right there. Wow. 
That's going to be on video. Seeing a fat guy run. We'll be out of breath now. Sorry, guys, if I'm out of breath. Wow, I wasn't. I wasn't really expecting to get anything on that. I'm kind of spot fishing right now, which I've said that like 50 times. You guys probably get tired of me repeating myself. All right. It's really shallow. I've said that a bunch of times too, but I can't believe how much rain we're going to need. I mean, it's going to have to rain for like three days straight. Is that a bass? What is that? It's a catfish, I think. I guess we'll find out. Three, two, one. There's a bass right there by the, the Guggen Bay. Oh, he's got it. Got him. Got him. I was going to say he was like running with it. It's a nice size to go in our pond. Heck yeah. That was on the Kraken Crawl. The Guggen Kraken Crawl. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get him off of here. It's a little, it's a nice one to put in our pond. I'll be right back. All right, guys, that Guggen Kraken Crawl is where it's at. All right, so I got a bass and a little little bass, a nice size for our pond, a pretty big bluegill for our pond. I want to catch one more bass, maybe one more bluegill, and then I'll try to catch that catfish, and then I'll call it a day. Again, the goal is just to fill my pond up. Put some more fish in a pond. It's so crazy. I was like, hey, there's a bass right there. And then I noticed that he had it in his mouth. I was like, okay. That's pretty easy. That was the easiest catch in the world. All right, guys, might have to change up my strategy. I put my last crack and crawl on and went down to get my bucket that I'm gonna put in my pond, it's heavy. And I got to go a pretty far distance to get it to my car. And then to get home was really short, but you notice I'm out of breath. So I might not go after those catfish today because they're mighty big. I mean, I can get one catfish in there and it will, it will last, but it's gonna make the bucket extremely heavy. So if I didn't have far to go, I'd do it, but so I might have to change up strategy here, but I know me, I like living on the edge, so I'll probably break my back. <laughs> That's just how I do things. Oh, there's a nice size bass right there. Oh, he went right past it. How can you go past this? Unless he was circling back, which is probably the case. You can't go past my crack and crawl. What's wrong with you? I think that's him right there.
wish I would have brought my gla my glasses so I could see. I mean, it's shallow, but I'd like to be able to see a little bit better. All right, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Do I want to try to catch another bass? Another little smaller one? Yep, you see that. You get to see everything here. I threw it in a tr in a bush. I threw it in a bush. I'm really thinking about it. Yeah, my battery is off. I forgot to charge my phone. I'm gonna do one more cast and I'm gonna try to catch these catfish. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to catch one. If I don't catch a bass right here, I'm gonna try to catch this catfish. All right, I'm gonna try to catch him with the crack and crawl. You don't really have to. Oh, there's a little bass right there. I wonder if I can get him. Well, it helps when you throw out in the right way. By the time I throw over there. All right. Let's see if I can get him. If I can get him, I won't get the catfish. Let me go ahead and try to get him. I'm going to try to get him. All right, here we go. Dang it. Then I did a nice little bird's nest on top of that. It's nothing better than a bird's nest right when you're trying to do something. I'll just pull. Oh, it's right there. About to go in the hole, right? There, right, it just went in the hole. Two of them in there. Let's see if they get pissed. Okay, I think it's in his mouth. So he's either going to get pissed and put take it out, or he's going to try to eat it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh... He's coming out. I think he's dropping. Oh. Nope, he dropped it. All right. My phone is about to die. So if I catch him, I'll play it right as I'm rolling him in. All right, guys. So I made it back home. Uh, I didn't catch anything after that. I started thinking about having to carry that bucket back and the weight of the bucket. So I came back home, I ended up catching uh, three bluegill, one really good size one in that bass that you guys seen. And we'll go ahead and put that in my pond and might head back out the next day. 
But uh, hopefully, Phil, when he gets back into town, hopefully he'll be able to take a weekend and get out into the boat. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Just know that God loves you and continue fishing. Peace out. <laughs>